cheese. Hey y'all, it's Ebony Tony and I'm back with another video. Y'all, we have some noodles, some ramen noodles. Um, we have a little burnt sausage over here. And then we got some boiled eggs, some bok choy. So we finna go ahead and eat. Ain't it right, boo? You wanna get down? Bye-bye. Hmm. Okay, y'all, we finna eat, honey. I done burnt my little sausage. Huh? It's my little baby. It's my little baby. It is hot. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I really do love bok choy. Baby, I ain't have to burn this sausage like this. I know some people gonna say this is a good sausage because it got a little, a little char on it. But I don't like that. That stuff be choking me, honey. So I'm probably gonna be Taking all this off. Mm. Mm. Yummy. So how is everybody doing today? Don't mess with it. This is my first time eating today, so excuse me if I go a little crazy. I ain't gotta not wanna do all these. Thumbs up. That boy gave me a thumbs up. Good. Mm. Mm -hmm. Y'all have some good bok choy. I wanted to do a uh, uh, hot pot today, but I didn't have enough stuff to go in the hot pot. You know what I'm saying? I only had noodles with well, everything I got right here. I didn't have no, I wanted some shrimp, some mushroom and all that. Good, baby? Good. Good. Hmm. It's a little bit hot. Okay. Ooh, honey. I cook this in the oven. Okay. That sauce is real good. I think it's a Hillshire Farm beef.
tell y'all I was supposed to I was supposed to record yesterday. Let me tell y'all what happened. I'm so foolish. <clears throat> so y'all what's today? Tuesday. One day last week, y'all. I'm getting out of the car. And my keys won't come out of the ignition. So I think I, I don't know what I did. Is I jiggled the steering wheel or did something to get shit. I don't know what I did, honey. Anyway, so I got out of the car. Right. So come yesterday. I was coming from somewhere and I'm getting ready to get out of the car. I think I was at Walgreens. Can't get out of the car, y'all. My keys won't come out of the car, basically. Out of the ignition. So, um, you want some noodles? So I'm just like doing everything I know how to do because I done been around some regular cars in my life you want some more sausage so i'm just doing everything i know how to do y'all i'm doing the steering wheel i'm jiggling the keys i'm pressing the pedal and trying to take it out at the same time i mean the brake um i'm doing everything y'all it's 103 degrees outside no lie i've seen that walgreens so anyway i go in did not want to leave my car running But I go in real quick. Come on out. So I say, okay, I'm gonna try it again. Still, still doing all these little tactics to try to get my keys out of the car, y'all. Oh damn! I get home, try again, try about thirty more times, sitting in the yard. So, the next thing I know to do is to, okay, so I called this tire place where I get my oil changed up the road, and they was like, you need to call Lots Mill, because we don't really do that kind of stuff here. So, I'm like, okay, call the Lots Mill. Um, the Lots Mill told me that I need a... After I explained what was going on, he said, it sounds like your car is not registering that it's in park, so it won't let your keys go, basically. So, I'm like, uh, he was like, you need to call a mechanic shop to get a shift cable. So, I call, okay, so after that, I order roadside assistance from my insurance, right? Cause something got to get going because i can't leave my car running all day and if i cut it off to where it would let me cut it off my battery gonna run dead mm. so i'm like okay so they said they on their way they did not have the option to select that my keys were stuck in the ignition so i put it locked out or whatever like that so I'm trying to call them the people who they assigned to me to tell them, you know, I'm not really locked out of my car. I was trying to explain, you know, what exactly was going on. So, the locksmith that was, that I was talking to at this time, who was coming to me, first of all, I was going to take him two hours to get here. I don't know where they be coming from. Him. So, he just trying to walk me through all this stuff, what to do. Turn, turn the wheel left, turn the wheel right. You know, they're doing all types of stuff, y'all. He told me to keep slamming the gear shift into part. Try to do it hard so my car can see. You know what I'm saying? So, y'all. Nothing worked. That's so cold it been in freezing. Yeah. So then, 
after that didn't work, I told him, like, thank you or whatever like that. Trying to help me. I need to call the people back about the shift cable. The the place I called in the first place. Who told me to call the locksmith. So I called him. He was like, yes, ma'am. I can, um, I can try to, you know, do a diagnostic scan on it or whatever. And... I won't be able to get you into tomorrow morning. So I'm like, dude, what am I supposed to do to tomorrow morning? So I'm starting to look at YouTube videos, all type of stuff. People talking about playing with the fuses and unplugging the smart key fuses and just doing all this kind of stuff. So, hey, will you stop it? So, um, what I end up doing then? So after I, I go outside trying to just look at fuses just to see what I can see, honey, and just sitting in the car. So then we came up with a bright idea to unplug the battery in the car. You know, we finished using it for the day. Just unplug the battery so that the battery won't go dead and it won't run out of your gas. Do that. That got the car off, but the keys are still in there. Okay, cool. I'm in my yard. I was going to put like a tarp or something over my window because I was going to leave my window down so my keys wouldn't really get locked inside of the car. Because y'all know sometimes cars be doing funny stuff. So, then I was like, okay. I'm going to stop it. So, I was like, I know a dude from, uh, from high school that work on cars. Like, he got his own little shop and everything. Give it to me. Thank you. So, y'all, I called him up. And he was like, you know, what's going on with the car or whatever. And he was like, bring it to me. Just so I can see what's really going on. No. And I'm like, okay. Took it to him, y'all. I get out of the car. He sit in my car. He just looked for 0. 0.2 seconds. He said, um, Ebony, watch this uh, rubber band right here. I had a rubber band on the on the gear shift. You know, the thing that you switch gears with. He was like, why is this rubber band right here? And I said, because I got a lot of hair. You know, I just got rubber bands in random places, which I, I didn't put that right there. But So, he was like, why the rubber band right here? Whatever like that. So, I'm just like... You know, I'm basically thinking, like, what what they got to do with anything. So, he takes the rubber band off, put it around his wrist, cut my car off, and take the keys out and jingle them. He a little smart, but... I was like, oh, my God, what did you do? I said, it ain't been doing it. He said, you had a rubber band between the, the release button and the gear shift. He said it wasn't releasing in part. Y'all know how you, when you get ready to switch gear, you have to press a little button. Well, my car, I got to press a little, like, hold in. I don't even notice that I be doing it. I just be grabbing it. But it's a it's a button like this that, really, that presses and releases. So, he was like, you had the rubber band between it and it wasn't releasing on part. So, your car didn't know to let your keys go. I was like, oh my God, I feel so stupid. He was like, I'm so tired of y'all putting y'all a little nasty mouth on my drink. It cold, ain't it? He was like, don't feel stupid. He said, <laughs> he said girls bring me their car all the time with this kind of stuff. He said, y'all know how we be getting on little furry things. A little furry seat covers and stuff like that. He said... This this type of problem happened like literally all the time. He said, Y'all be getting all this stuff on here and they be blocking the sensors and blocking the you know the basically the mechanics of the vehicle. He was like, Y'all need to stop <laughs> Y'all need to stop getting all that stuff. But in my case, it was just a freaking rubber band, like like a rubber band that I would put my hair up in the ponytail with. Like not no little black one, but the big the big yellow vanilla looking rubber band. Man, give me my drink. And go wipe that up. Anyway, y'all, I just felt so dumb. I was like, man, I done came all the way down here. And ain't nothing wrong with my car. Like, I'm calling all these people. I'm finna spend money I literally don't have to, to have a locksmith. No people would have laughed at me. I'm glad it was somebody I knew that, that laughed at me. He ain't laughed, though. He was just like, like, yeah, it's the rubber band here. Like, <laughs> duh, of course your car ain't really good off. Anyway, y'all, that was just, I was just so flabbergasted about it. I was like, how?
How dare you just sit in my car and do what I've been trying to do for 17 hours now. Anyway, y'all, this was a very nice little brunch, I guess. You ain't getting no more. Go sit down. And look at that flow. You got drink all over the floor. Get that towel over there. Pick up that towel. Yeah, pick it up. I'll take that. Here, do this. Do that. Wipe it up. Anyway, y'all, thank y'all so much for watching this video. If you're new to this channel, please consider this hitting that subscribe button before you go. Don't forget to like, comment, and share. And until the next time, bye, y'all.